Hello, welcome. Please take a moment, read the problem, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. All right, so we're told here that according to a survey, 77% of households in a certain area watch Netflix originals. And if 14 of them are visited at random, okay, we're visiting 14 households, what is the probability that eight of them will be watching these Netflix originals? So as we start to break this down, let's think about it. A probability of a success that they will be watching a Netflix original is 0.77. So therefore, not is 0.33. So watching it or not. And if you're going around looking at 14 different households, if the if you want to have eight of them, let's say the first eight, let's just keep it simple. The first eight all are watching it. That's 0.77 times itself eight times. And then the remaining, it's out of 14 households, that's eight. The remaining six are 0.33. So that would tell me the exact order. Let me just write this one out. If we have eight successes, I'll use um, N for you. No, that's confusing. I'll use a check mark for them watching it. So yes, 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 that's three. Yes, 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 six. Yes, yes, that's eight. Eight in a row. That's This is measuring right there. And then six not watching it. No, 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 no. But, but we're not done yet because you could... You could have this happen in different ways. What if the first person says, no, I don't watch those things, it's not a success. Then in a row we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the rest say no, right? That's another way. What are other orders that could happen in? Well, you can keep looking at that. There's a whole bunch of them. They're all gonna have the same probability, right? They all have the same number of people watching and not watching. So they're all weighted equally. And you could find them all individually, but really a nice shortcut would be to say, well, in the first situation, I'm choosing the first eight, right? All first eight people are saying yes. In the second, it's the first no. And then the second two through ninth households are saying yes. So what are all the different groups I can pick of yeses, groups, right? And the order is not really important here because um, it's, not, it's not really about uh, the order. It's about whether they say yes or no. So for example... I could swap these two houses here, and it's still the same thing. So I don't want to count all different permutations. I want to count the combinations in which that could happen. So that's a combination. And in this case, the combination is out of 14, all the ways that I can pick uh, eight households that say yes. And that's a binome PDF. And the graphing calculator, I can't show it right now, sorry. You press second VARS, and then alpha A to get into... Uh, a shortcut for this, but you could just do the combination 14 factorial over 8 factorial times 6 factorial and calculate it by hand. But I'm just going to enter in trials as 14, probability of success is 0. 0.77. It's having 8 times, and I get an answer, I get 0. 0.05493. And that's the nearest 10,000, so it's about 0. 0.0549, and that's our answer. Alright, hope that helps.